Sorry, I had a cut out earlier. I wasn't wa I was not watching my time earlier in the last video. Okay, let's uh, let's go over the uh, array tool once more. Uh, the reason why it wasn't doing anything before <coughs> these is because I had had not yet to hit apply. So we can put these back at the d default values here, and uh, we can just adjust it and see our our changes being made in the window. So, you may need to use this tool for something, occasionally. You could probably best determine when you would need something like this. And also, undo that um, clone tool, which is very, very similar, except except uh, it just makes one, one copy in a single, or not one, but just copies in one particular direction there. So, just determine when that might be useful for you. And uh, before I, right before I cut out the disconnect, or yes, disconnect. If we disconnect these, we don't preserve groups. What we've done is we've actually separated every polygon that we had selected from itself and the rest of our object. So these polygons are completely separate. Undo that with Control Z. What if we actually do preserve the groups? Then we just have we just select we've just disconnected the polygons we had selected. So and also there is also split, which is different than disconnecting. That split <coughs> actually takes these polygons you have selected and makes them a separate object and notice that object is actually below here even though we're still selected to our main object notice it's it's not just these so not only do we disconnect them but we split them of course they're disconnected undo that and I've finally already gone over melt it'll just completely melt that into just one one uh, one polygon there or edges or points or whatever you have selected and of course that's usually not desirable we're just, we're just gonna undo that and now uh, triangulate triangulate does what you would probably expect it uh, makes it makes tries out of your quads out of your quad polygons you can also go to untriangulate and say okay in much the same way and there is subdivide, which does exactly as it sounds. It'll uh, subdivide it by one, and it'll just uh, subdivide it right there. And then, oops, we'll select a few more here. Let's try that again. Notice you do have options, so it'll actually smooth it, just like our actual hypernerbs object would. So if you're modeling something hard, you start out with really, really hard geometry. And you want to smooth it just a little bit um, without actually going into hypernerbs. So you can actually edit that geometry and get more detail. Then that's an option available. Or if you were, were actually wanting to do the whole object that way, you can turn this down. Just to uh, make edible. I notice it uh, created a whole bunch of them because... It, it, that, it does that based off the sub subdivision for the renderer. We actually make edible, and we can actually have all those uh, all those points and polygons that our hypernerbs produces. So you don't want to try not to accidentally do that. Uh, that that would be pretty bad. Okay, and we've also covered the optimize tool. If we hit Control A, select all the um, polygons. Go to optimize. Um, it pretty much gets rid of polygons that are next to each other, unused points, and just um, loose points that are just are points stacked right on top of each other. This is what this tolerance is for. It'll actually weld points together if they're so close. So if we make this something extreme like 100, we'll uh, we'll get it optimized. <laughs> Probably not the way we want, but it will. Uh, it will definitely do that. Probably do that again. 
yeah so generally leave that at the default setting of 0.01 let's go ahead and uh, oops let's go ahead and go over probably our our last little set of tools I guess you could say the move tool this will actually move along the normal of your 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 polygon so it'll just, it'll just move it straight across and you also have that option I mean generally it's it moves along along what you have selected you can change that also if you go to the scale tool we go to um, normal scale more or less the same thing except we select different polygons here and use that scale the normal scale tool it will scale those normals individually if we did if we did this on the normal or uh, not normal but uh, the, the the regular scale tool <coughs> not the uh, not the normal scale tool but uh, the scale tool the scale tool you would normally use click and drag notice it actually it actually scales all those that we have selected you can actually change that if we go to the modeling axis and, axis and orient modeling axis change the orientation from axis to normal <coughs> we, well we should get the, oh analog analog normals okay we will actually get the same result as if we went to um, normal scale. So keep you can keep that in mind. That's just um, different ways of doing it, or that's the same, very similar thing. Again, we rotate. Hmm. Oops. Rotate along the normals. No sense, it's just rotating only along the normals. <coughs> so those polygons are actually staying flush with their own within their own plane. Of course, there is move, which generally just uh, moves the polygon along its own, uh, moves the polygon along its plane, which generally the axis is already adjusted to where it's flush with the plane here so those um those that pretty much covers I think we've covered most most of all these tools here <coughs> let's see if I've missed anything I think that's um, that's about it uh, oh edges well, no, I did discuss it. Well, no, I don't think I did. You can also extrude the edges. I think I did so discuss that. Not something you generally want to do. You can also bevel the edges. Now, that can be very helpful. We, uh, we... Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, <laughs> create end guns is not selected but it's oh, okay so um yeah that's that can be very helpful beveling edges which is very similar to um beveling points as we probably already probably already discussed so that's uh that's about my, my, um, that's pretty much about it for, for, for the modeling tools um, a lot of tools here a lot to comprehend but uh, i do stress experimentation just Experiment with the tools and especially just remember your loop selections and in conjunction with the knife tool. The knife tool is is very um, very useful. And the extrude tool, probably the most used tools that I use. But uh, it depends on your needs. Alright.